Hello, 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 everyone. This is Trina Boyd. Hello to all the Arise family. Um, I wanted to do a video um, because I've noticed that there is not a video out about um, training equipment. So it's training training equipment that you would need to train. It's not a lot of um, equipment, but one thing in particular that you want to need is a headset. And not just any headset, a USB headset. So what I'm going to do is share my screen. Um, this video is for people who are training for a rise. So this equipment is standard. It's a standard equipment. So if you have a friend, make sure you share this video with them because they may ask you what kind of equipment, especially if you're helping them work from home and work for a rise, they want to ask you what kind of equipment. Training equipment do I need? Just share this video with them. It's easy, simple. Um, so what I'm going to do is share my screen with you all, and I want to go over the actual equipment that is out there for you. So this particular headset that you see is a USB headset. USB meaning that, if you can see my screen, the end part is a USB port. This is a USB port. So make sure you do not buy... Um, don't buy the the little round part. It's a little thing that, that plugs on the side of your computer. Don't do that. The USB is this part right here actually plugs into the side of your laptop or computer. And this is for training only. So this is for training only. So with that being said, for the training equipment, this has to be a USB. I got a lot of questions about this because a lot of people don't know. They don't know um, what type of equipment. They don't know what type of equipment to use. So with that being said, I wanted to put this video out there for everyone who is starting training, who is about to start training, and everyone who is actually in training, you need a USB headset. And the reason it's USB because it's a noise counseling headset. Um, the regular headsets don't have that part, but the USB, let me see if I can zoom in on it so you all can see what I'm talking about. The USB part is what you need, that part right there. USB headset and it looks like even on this one it has um, little devices on it and this one's only $21 so that's a really good price so I suggest this particular headset so you don't have to right now I'm going to provide the link for you so look in the description look in the description part for the link so you don't have to go on Amazon and search it and all that other stuff you can actually just click on the link this is the exact headset that you're going to need to train for a rise. Here it is, USB headset. It's a USB headset. This is the link. It even have a little microphone that you can talk into. So this is for training. This is for training. If you are working for another company, I can't say the company's name, but they may require you to have um, a headset. So you can use this one. Some companies with Arise allows you to just plug in and you don't have to have a phone line. So if you want to know those companies, um, just go onto the Arise portal and you'll be able to search info and it'll tell you if you need a phone or not. But if you do not need a phone, this is the same headphone that you can use for working as well, depending on what client. So let me make myself clear. I, want, I don't want anyone confused. I don't want anyone confused. This headset is particularly for training. But, and let me say, and, <laughs> and you can use it for working if the company do not require you to have a phone line, okay? So if the company do not require you to have a phone line, you can use this headset for for working as well. Not all the clients on the portal are like this though. Some of the clients require you to have a phone line. So what you would have to do on your part is go log onto the Arise portal if you are already in, 
click on different companies, click on info, click on info, and it'll tell you, you have to read. You have to read. I know you have an IBO, but you know, most of the times the IBO don't know the exact companies that do not, that requires this. Um, so make sure you read to find out under the companies which one requires you to have um, a phone line and one that will allow you to have this USB headset. So they even have different colors it looks like. So they have a, this is the um, unique two-in-one detachable plug. So they even have, y'all, they have it to where you have the mic on and off. So if you are training um, and the trainer asks you a question, um, you can turn your mic on. And if you're not being, you know, you don't want anyone to know what's going on in your background noise, you turn it off. The same for working. You cannot have any background noise. You cannot have any background noise when you are working. When you are training, it's different because it's a classroom. But you still may have to, you know, do mock, mock um, calls on the actual um, role play when training. So this is when you have your mic on when you're doing it and have your mic off. So this is a really good headset. If I was actually still taking calls, I would get this headset. I would definitely get this headset. It looks like you have a speaker as well. So it has a speaker on here. Um, but the USB, the USB right here, the USB plug, this part right here, listen up, listen, listen, listen. This part right here is what you're going to plug in to your computer. So this is the part you're going to plug into your computer to train. So when you get onto your laptop, you want to plug this in and you're going to start training. Make sure when you're doing training that you log in at least 20 minutes before training time so you won't be late. You may have technical issues. That's those without saying you may have technical issues you will have technical issues I mean that's just how life works when you do dealing with technology but other than that you will plug this into your um, you will plug this into your computer and you want to train with that one um, it is noise counseling so it's noise counseling so the noise counseling doesn't really it counsels the noise but not like you think um, if you are holding a baby, it's not going to cancel that noise out. It's just pretty much background noise. So noise counseling. Um, and then it's soft. That's important too. So when you are actually, um, when you are actually um, sitting at a computer for two to four hours, depending on what training, you want something comfortable on your ears. So this is a soft, flexible um, headband for you it's comfortable and if, even if you do start servicing a client that requires you to use a usb headset you if you're working for however many hours straight eight hours straight this is what you it's going to be comfortable on your ears this is very important y'all so don't worry about trying to search this i am going to provide the link for you i'm going to do a short video for you Do they move? It moves as well. This is awesome. It moves for you. This is the perfect, the perfect one. So yeah, I would suggest this one is inexpensive. Um, don't worry about searching this. I have provided the link for you for this. Do not worry about searching for this. Um, if I was to um, pick any headphone for training, I would pick this one. This, this one would be the one. So I'll provide the link for you. This is for training. If you do decide to have, uh, service a client, 
that um, will allow you to you just use your headset um, without a phone. There are companies out there. Just read. Um, if you are under my IBO, I know one company that, that does it on the portal. And if you want that information, just text me. But if you just, you know, independent and you just want to read it on your own, do that. But this one is only $21. Um, they have different colors, it looks like. They have, I like this color. This is a silver one. This is a blue one. We got a blue one. Is this white? Oh, that's a blue. This is a blue, a white one. Of course, when you get into the colors, it goes up a couple of dollars, but that's not bad. Make sure you know this is important too. Make sure you know that you can write this off on your taxes. So even though that you're spending this money on this headset, you, it's tax deductible. Um, so even though you are working under a call center, you are still considered an independent contractor, which means that anything that you buy related to being an independent contractor, you can write off. So make sure you keep your receipt. It's a digital receipt, so it's so easy to just, if you need it, just pull it up. The receipt, if you need to. Um, I, I may have a class on how to get business credit with Amazon, because even though you are an independent contractor, you can still get business credit. So I know I'm going to be doing a class on this um, in about five months. So if you want to get on that list for getting notified of different classes, I'm going to provide that link as well from my website um, for business credit. I'm going to be doing a class on that. So I just want to do this quick video. This is the preferred um, for, for me, this is a preferred USB headset for training. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you click on the link below so you don't have to search and mess up and get the wrong headset. This is the exact link below for this. But thank you all for watching. I love you all. Have a, a great, um, happy training. Thank you all for watching.